you are welcome to this video so in this section we'll be creating a load balancer what's the essence of creating a load balancer yes because we use the load balancer to balance traffic across our task which will be running our docker container okay so we use it to balance traffic across our tax in ECS service all right I'm in my console AWS management console all I need to do right now is to locate EC2 service and then we'll create a load balancer so in the search bar I will type EC2 and I will click on EC2 In this EC2 dashboard, I will scroll down to where we have load balancer. So you can see here, I will click on load balancers. And I will click on create load balancer. The type of application, the type of load balancer I will be creating is application load balancer. So I will click on this create under application load balancer. If I scroll down, okay, so the load balancer name, I can just give it any name I want. So, um, project ALB, okay, it will be internet facing. So, I will scroll down to where we have, um, so I'll be making use of the default VPC, so it is fine this way. I will leave it the way it is under the subnet the mappings yeah I will select US East 1A 1A I'll select US East 1B and then I'll select US East 1C actually want high availability okay so we don't want to choose one availability no so that is why i'm selecting three availability zones here and if i scroll down i'll be selecting a security group that we use the security group that was created after we launched an ec2 instance so i will look for the security group and this is it over here i'll click on it and i'll scroll down the listing that it will be listening on port 80 so the protocol and the port is fine but over here you can see we need to actually create a target group for this load balancer so all i'll need to do right now is to click on create target group and it will take me to another tab scroll down and the protocol is fine i'll leave everything the way it is i'll scroll down So I want to click on advanced health check and here I would like the threshold to be 2 so it will be faster alright if I scroll down that is pretty much what I need to do here and I will click on next oh I didn't give a target name or the target group name so I'll just type TG here and that is fine scroll down and click next so here it is asking us to register target we don't have a target here so I'll just leave it and scroll down and click create target group awesome now our target group has been created so let me go back to the load balancer tab and I'll refresh this okay so this is now displaying the target group we've created I'll select it okay so if I scroll down okay that's pretty much what I need to do here I'll now click on create a load balancer awesome I'll view load balancer
and that is it so we've successfully created a load balancer application load balancer in this video we'll be making use of ECS service to create task definition create our cluster and our, as well as our service and then we'll point our load balancer to our task all right thank you so much and i will see you in my next video bye